Today's presbyopic patient has lifestyle demands requiring clear and predictable vision at all distances. So it's no surprise that they require their vision correction to perform at the highest level. For excellent vision and optimum comfort, Art Optical presents the unique BiExpert Slab-Off GP Lens technology. BiExpert is a non-truncated, alternating vision bifocal lens in which the base of the prism is designed as an inverse curve. This unique curve fits the lower lid, providing a natural lens translation to near vision. The patented slab-off technology also features a thinner, uniform edge profile 360 degrees around the circumference of the lens, resulting in less patient lid awareness. The near segment height can be adjusted to fit all palpebral fissure widths, and the segment location dots at 3 and 9 o'clock make it easy to find the segment height when evaluating the lens on the patient's eye. The freeform computer-assisted design and manufacturing provides exceptional precision, quality, and reproducibility. The Boston family of lens materials are to be used with the BiExpert design to maximize oxygen exchange, wetting characteristics, and deposit resistance. Fitting the BiExpert is simple, and the lenses can be ordered by simply supplying the lab with K-readings and RX. The BiExpert design order sheet also known as the DOS, can also be filled out to improve the fitting success of the first lens. Filling out the design order sheet is easy. Simply fill in the current distance refraction and add power, K readings or topography map, fill in the horizontal visible iris diameter for lens size, pupil diameter in normal room lighting for seg height determination, note the height of the lower lid to the lower pupil in normal room lighting. This is also needed for seg height. Note the palpebral fissure width. This aids in determining the lens size in case the measurement is extremely wide or extremely narrow. The lower lid position as it relates to the limbus is needed for seg height and lens translation. And note the lid tonicity as tight, average, or loose. The bi-expert fitting philosophy is different from most alternating bifocal designs that usually are fit with the alignment philosophy. Instead, the bi-expert fitting nomogram recommends the base curve be fit steeper than K. This helps to facilitate rapid vertical lens movement during the blink cycle. When that happens, the distance and near optical portions can quickly move back into their proper position. The first lens chosen is based on the amount of the patient's corneal astigmatism and the horizontal visible iris diameter. If corneal tericity is equal to or less than one and a half diopters, choose a diameter based on the horizontal visible iris diameter. If the HVID is small, approximately 11 millimeters, choose a nine millimeter diameter. If the HVID is average size, or approximately 11 and a half millimeters, choose a 9.5 millimeter diameter lens. And if the diameter is large, around 12 millimeters, choose a 10 millimeter diameter lens. If corneal tericity is greater than one and a half diopters and less than two and a half diopters, the first choice is a nine millimeter diameter lens. If you're fitting a nine millimeter diameter lens, the base curve should be equal to the average value between the flat and steep K. For a 9.5 millimeter diameter lens, calculate the base curve as the average value between the flat and steep K plus a quarter diopter. For a 10 millimeter diameter lens, calculate the base curve as the average between the flat and steep K plus a half diopter. The distance power is calculated using the tier lens compensation rules of SAM and FAP steeper add minus and flatter add plus. Use the spectacle add power for the near add. Let's look at an example. Begin by filling in the prescription, K readings, and horizontal visible iris diameter on the design order sheet. This patient's spectacle RX is OD minus one and a half minus three quarters axis five and the left minus one and a half minus one axis 180 with an add power of plus two diopters. The Ks are 44 diopters by 45 diopters at 95 and 43 and a half diopters by 45 diopters at 90. And the patient's corneal diameter is 11 and a half millimeters for both eyes. 
In this example, the corneal tericity is less than or equal to 1.5 diopters in both eyes. Since the corneal diameter is 11.5 millimeters or average in size, we'll select a lens diameter of 9.5 millimeters. According to the nomogram, the base curve is then equal to the average between the flat K and the steep K plus a quarter diopter. For the right eye, the average of the 44 diopter flat and the 45 diopter steep K is 44 and a half diopters. Now add a quarter diopter and that results in a first base curve choice of 44 and three quarter diopters. To calculate the base curve for the left eye, the average between the flat and steep K is 44 and a quarter diopters. Adding a quarter diopter to the 44 and a quarter results in a 44 and a half diopter base curve. Next, gather the following measurements to make sure the position of the near segment is optimum. In this example, the measurements are identical in both eyes. The pupil size is 4.5 millimeters in normal room illumination. The measurement of the lower lid to the bottom of the pupil is 4 millimeters. Papebral fissure width is 9.5 millimeters, and the lower lid is positioned at the limbus. The lid tonicity appears to be average in each eye. Based on these measurements, the laboratory will check if the standard segment height will be suitable. The ideal lens will rest on the lower lid in primary gaze. The seg line should position tangent or adjacent to the lower pupil margin in normal room illumination. The lens should move rapidly with the blink and fall quickly back into position. When the patient looks down, the lens will translate up, so they're looking below the segment line. For presbyopic contact lenses, it's suggested that you first evaluate the distance vision, both monocularly and binocularly in normal room illumination. Then evaluate the near vision binocularly. Any over-refraction should be done with handheld trial lenses instead of with the foropter. Of course, sometimes the first lens doesn't perform as expected. Here are suggestions for the most common parameter adjustments. If the patient describes poor distance vision and the segment line bisects the pupil and the lens positions correctly on the lower eyelid, then a lower segment height should be ordered. If the segment bisects the pupil because the lens is positioning superiorly, then reduce the overall diameter of the lens. If the patient describes poor distance vision and the lens decenters inferiorly and positions under the lower eyelid, increase the diameter. Or if the lower eyelid is located below the limbus and the lens decenters down, increase the lens diameter. If the patient describes poor distance vision and the lens moves excessively, decrease the diameter. When checking near vision, the lens should translate as you can see in this image. If the near vision is poor and the lens doesn't have effective translation and the lens positions under the lower eyelid when looking down, increase the diameter and or the base curve. If the lens translation is effective and the segment line positions too low in primary gaze, consider increasing the diameter if the lower lid is below the limbus. Or if the lens positions correctly in primary gaze, increase the height of the near segment. The bi-expert lens with slab-off technology is available in a wide range of parameters to meet the needs of most of your presbyopic patients. For your patients with higher degrees of astigmatism, the lens can even be manufactured in a toric design. Simply supply Art Optical with K's, RX, and the corneal measurements we've already discussed. Consider the bi-expert design for your presbyopic contact lens patients. Our qualified consultants are here to assist you Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the bi-expert lenses are covered by our generous warranty program and will ship to your practice in our usual quick delivery time. Order bi-expert lenses from Art Optical today at 1-800-253-9364.